God is wanting us to focus more so on our internal instead of what's happening externally. When it comes to living the soft life, people are speaking about making sure that your nails are done, your hair is done, making sure that you have the perfect aesthetic. All of that may be true to a certain extent when it comes to your outer appearance, but so often we focus too heavily on the outer appearance and not enough on what's going on internally. What is your heart looking like? What is the condition of your soul? Are you operating out a space of unforgiveness, of bitterness? And look, I'm not here to I'm not here to convey a message as if I'm dismissive of the power of beauty and you know the things that make up us of being women, right? That's an aspect, but on a deeper level, we're much more we have so much more depth than our appearance, than our physicality. And right now, it's so needed for us to tap into focusing on our inner selves, focusing on the posture of our heart, whether we're actually loving, whether we're actually doing the will of God. And I'm going to share this scripture. This is from 1 Peter 3, 1 through 4. And it says, now let me speak to the wives, be devoted to your own husbands, so that even if some of them do not obey the word of God, your kind conduct may win them over without you even saying a thing. For when they observe your pure, godly life before God, it will impact them deeply. Let your true beauty come from your inner personality and not a focus on the external. Right now, there's this public opinion going on between the genders man and woman husband and wife <laughs> and the consensus is that it's a no-win situation and that is the furthest thing from the truth God wants us to understand that by focusing on our internal values by focusing on that inner beauty within us it's going to also bring out the best in your divine compliment in who's meant for you, your husband or your wife. So take it as it resonates with you. So right now it's time for you to do that inner work. Don't be afraid to pray whenever something riles up in your spirit and makes you feel uncomfortable or easy or whatever God is allowing you to see. Pray. This is why you have this discernment. Your intercessory prayer isn't in vain.